China is coming and everyone who thinks that it, that that's not going to happen is I'm telling you, man, there's they have. There's also a story that they took they took every single like military official in every country and they met up all in Wuhan and they tried like there was like some simulations there and there were also like kind of, you know, spreading their germs also maybe not consciously or unconsciously, you know, and it could be that those officials brought that shit back to their countries, but I don't know that. You know, I'm not going to say that that happened, but what definitely happened to me is I had that shit. I guarantee you I had that shit. I knew yeah, I man. know I had that because in December and in January, I had like the worst flu that I ever had in my life. And it wasn't that it wasn't like, you know, of course, I was like super sick and I had a high fever and I was like getting chills. So I had to like, you know lay down i was pretty feeling weak but i after like two three days four days then i went back to doing what i was doing you know i think it was like two three days maximum and i think you know because they list all these symptoms there's all these videos of you know how to identify coronavirus and all that sh shit and all that shit that's listed there i had that like yeah i had that shit and my question is now, is it OK? So was there Corona ready in Germany and in Europe before they said it was like, you know, coming from Wuhan, which I now I think, yes. And, you know, so if that's the possibility, then how come, you know, this video was one year ago and when did they release that? Like, who knows when they released that shit? Right, right. Nobody knows. Yeah, dude, it's or maybe I mean, they so much had unpacked, already man. detected that and then they made that simulation and now it's getting, you know, spread to everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like they're saying that the or common thing, like, you know what I mean? a lot of reports like like how a lot of people from Germany, like older folks, younger folks are traveling throughout Europe and they might have got it from there and then it came back to Germany and they brought it there. That's the most popular um, like hypothesis for like how it spread in Germany yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now but they're I saying had, how I had it before that time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I had yeah. it. I got through it. It was it was pretty like intense for like two, three days, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to think I'm going to die. But I was like, you know, pretty sick. I was sweating. I was having fevers. Yeah, you were saying you had all the all the symptoms that, that were that you see listed on the you know website. Yeah, I like real that. were and your lungs like kind of liquidy feeling too a little bit or no? Like had like no, kind of feeling. Were, Feel, I had like a super dry cough. Like I was coughing like five, yeah, yeah. two, three minutes. I remember that one night I had, I didn't get any sleep and I was just coughing the whole night. And, yeah. but after a couple of days, it was, you know, it got better. And then one week later, two weeks later, it's gone and I'm back to normal. Everything's fine. Yeah. And it's just interesting to, to know that I had that before the time frame that they're saying that it came and now it's you know kind of changing my mindset or perspective and thinking okay so it was definitely here before that and yeah man the question is only what kind of story and perception do they want to tell to us you know yeah like i was gonna say don't don't get tested but they might do that for you anyways they might get at yeah you they anyways. might they might uh, in the next couple of whatever weeks months they might say mandatory test kit you have to get this at your house and they send it to you you got to do it you got to send it back you know it could that could happen that yeah, could 100 happen. you know what i mean and don't be surprised if it doesn't you know of course first it'll be voluntary right where people will be like oh yeah let me do it it's cool so now i have a test you know but when everyone has to do it and the foundations and world health organizations and all these fucking people start saying you have to, uh, you know, get everyone tested, then, you know, who knows? Army comes up to your door, says, oh, did you did you do your test? No. OK, so you got to do your test now. You know, right, right. And I already see like in fucking 
I don't know if it's in the States or where, where did I see that last night? They're already rolling out tanks and all that shit. Like, oh yeah. 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 hundred percent. That's and probably people the saying, States. Oh, it's not, it's no war. It's no war. Of course it's a war. Yeah. There, yeah. Even Trump said himself, like in a speech is like, this is a war on Corona. Like he legit said that in a press conference the other day, like it's, and we're clearly losing that war. Right. It's not I don't know gonna if we're that. losing. Yeah. I mean, they're not, yeah, they could seven, be all eight billion. Yeah. How many people? Seven, eight billion, and twenty-eight thousand died. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm apologize to those people and those families. It's horrible, but yeah. compared to the bigger picture, that's not a significant amount. Yeah, you know. And again, yeah, there's a lot of with the fear mongering, with the mainstream media like per, portrayals and perceptions. How you're saying they're making it look like a million times worse than yeah. What that's it, the problem. Yeah. They're like they're fucking overdoing it. You know, they're overdoing yeah. it, and they're coming out constantly with these like computer simulated graphs where Reports they're showing and... like the exponential sh shit, whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna continue showing that. Oh, look at these. Look at my computer made this graph. Okay, what did you put in there? The computer just doesn't magically <laughs> right, right. calculate the graph. You have to exactly. put an input in the graph to get an output. So obviously they put some sort of value that they think is, you know, belonging into that graph. Yeah. But so it's the, not the, the, because no one, no one, Yeah. you just look at the overall number. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone's getting affected. That's okay. But the real question is how many are dying, you know? Right. I can get infected that, with every bullshit in the world. That doesn't mean I'm going to die. Right, right. And that's, yeah, my, so, that's my question now. Sorry to cut you off. With yeah, yeah, the yeah, vaccine my bad. shit, right? Yeah. Because with the vaccine stuff, it's like, okay, so we're going to, you know, trust vaccines and not our fucking immune system so they can adapt to this virus and get stronger. Like, that's my question, you know? Yeah. You're watching Izzy and Ibra TV.